Okay. We got our water boiling. First step. Barilla, penne. Let's make a box. Boom. We need to stir here. Yeah. This will work. A little stir. I calm this flame down a little bit. And we're going for al dente. Which means it's going to be a little hard, a little chewy. And we're going to stick this in the oven after I bake it too, so it'll be good. Step one, boil your barilla. All right, step two, we got our water boiling. Next, we gotta do some chopping. Normally, I, when I make this, I'll get the shredded pepper jack cheese, so you can just sprinkle it on after, before we put it in the oven and have it melted. But uh, here, I had to get the full bar of cheese, and I got the full pepper cheese instead of the shredded pepper cheese, so I got some chopping ahead of me. So that's what I'll be doing while the water's boiling for about another 10 minutes. And then we'll move on. Now, I'm no culinary artist, but I know how to use a knife. I can chop stuff up. That's what I'm doing here. Just trying to chop up the pepper jack cheese as it's possible because shredder would be nice. I just don't, I don't have a shredder, so this is how we're going to do this. We're just going to chop it up best I can, and you'll see we'll spread it. Out later. Same with the pepperoncinis. Our pepperoncinis, fucking delicious. We take the pepperoncini and we're just gonna slice them up, get that top off out of there. So as you're eating it, throw that in the trash. You don't need any stems in there. It's also a good idea. You take your, uh, take your five pepperoncinis in the can like this. Drain all the liquid out of there. You don't want to... Um, don't need it to be uh, soggy. Get rid of the sogginess. Okay, so our pasta's al dente. It's right about there. It's time to strain. Should have put on oven mitts. It's hot. It's real fucking hot. Shit. <whistles> Fit in there? Yeah. Oven mitts. Oh. Poor man's oven mitts. Space, but might lose a few pennies, but no big deal. Get all that out of there. Boom. Strain. Put this back on the stove. Ideally, when you make your own penne pesto, peppercini, pepper jack parmesan, 
You can make your own pesto, but this saves copious amounts of time. So you can see I chopped up an entire jar of uh, pepperoncini. One thing, one thing about if you get the chopped pepperoncini, they don't contain as much of the liquid that they uh, preserve them in. So, I mean, chopped up is gonna dry out anyway. I'm gonna chopped up a block of cheese to the mouth. So, here's our next step: the layering process. Wine. Now we layer. All right, here we go. You want to get an oven-safe bowl. Pretty sure I can bake this Pyrex dish. I'm gonna find out. That's what I'm going for. So get this. Our first step. So we're gonna throw a little olive oil in the Pyrex dish. Boom. That olive oil, get it going all around. Get a little more. Soak up the sides. I'm also going to turn the oven on to. Pepperoncini, some pepperoncinis in there. And this is the layering process from here. Put a little more in there. More cheese. A little parmesan. Oh, that parmesan on there. More pepperoncini and cheese. Oh, it's looking good. She's looking good. Finish it off. Go. Got pesto. More cheese and pepperoncini. Stem. We don't want that in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now Parmesan. Top it off. And she's ready to be baked. Don't spare the cheese. Don't spare the cheese. I'm gonna have to keep it in a little longer because cut up chunks of the pepper jack, but instead of the shredded, but booyah, look at that, going in the oven. Okay, so we got it in there. It's going good, we just want to let that cheese. I'm thinking 200 is not enough, I'm going to go up a little bit. Two 
35. See how that does. And in the meantime, we'll clean up, wash some dishes, have some wine. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes since it's been in the oven. I started at 200, I went up to 250, it just wasn't melting that cheese, so now we're at about three, 300. It's probably been at 300 for about four or five minutes. So I washed all the pots and pans and dishes and stuff. I'd say it's been about 10 minutes, it's been in the oven. I'm gonna take it out, check it out, maybe even stir. So it looks like our cheese, just our cheese are. Oh, it's melting. Oh, it's looking great. I'm going to put it back in. Oh, I don't even know if it needs to go back in. Yeah, I think we're, we're done here, folks. There it is. There it is. All right, one final step. Cheese, can't get enough of that cheese. Boom. There it is. Your penne, pesto, pepperoncini, pepper jack, parmesan. Boom, right there. I right, probably add some pork in there too for you meat eaters if you want to get your fix, but there it is. Not even like $15 can feed three or four people. Add another box, $30 a feed. Over. That's how I came up with it a few years ago, living with roommates. And cheap way to make dinner for everybody. And it's original, great for a date, great for you know, whatever you gotta do. Peppercini, pepper jet, parmesan. Pork parmesan. There it is, folks. Final product, the penne, pesto, pepperoncini, pepper jack, parmesan. Salt is original. This is the test. Fucking great. Mmm. So good. Yeah. Pasta. Your pepperoncini, you get your pesto, your parmesan. Mmm. Goddamn. Mm, it's delicious. Going back for a little second serving here. You know, when we're talking pepper jack, pepperoncini, mixed in with you know your pesto and your penne and your parmesan. But that pepper jack, <clears throat> that pepperoncini. Warm, makes it feel good. Good for a nice cold place. Which is where I originally invented this. In Bell, Colorado. Messing around in the kitchen. Some stuff stays with you. This one's gonna stick. This is a good one. Steal it, plagiarize, go for it. Make it your own. Add some pepper in there, add some pork, whatever. Make sure it starts with a P, and you're good to go.